Hi, I'm Imogen from Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer, and I'm here with the puppeteers of Boris and Sergey. Hi guys, how are you doing? Very good, hey. very good. So you're back after last year's sellout show. How does it feel to come back knowing you've had such success in the past? Is it a different experience? Yes, yeah, I would say it is. There's definitely a lot more pressure, I think, on us because because we, we know that Vaudeville Adventure went, went so well last year and it's a great show and it was material that we had sort of used for almost like a couple of years before. So the, the sequel is completely new material. It hasn't really been tried out in front of many audiences. And um, yeah, so there's definitely a lot more pressure to, to make it bigger and better and yeah. more, more epic. Mm -hmm. and bigger venues as well. We've got both shows, both are in sort of grander venues. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that, yeah, a lot more seats to fill. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but surely it's good pressure. You're rising yeah. to the challenge. Absolutely. Yeah. It feels like a rush to the up. Yeah. So what are the mechanics of the two shows? How is it working? Have you got new people in or are we dashing about? Or Steve is dashing a lot. Um, for the yeah. first first week. I, you're dashing. I am dashing. I'm dashing. I'm dashing. I'm dashing. I'm dash man. That's what they call me. Yeah, yeah, I'm going from one show to the other at the moment. The first yeah, probably four or five performances. Um, and there's only yeah. 10 minutes between each show, so, yeah. so it's, it's a, a real it's, dash. It's 0.4 miles that you yes. have to do in, in about 5 minutes. Yeah, so it's fun. Keeps me on my toes. Yeah, keeps you fit. Yeah. <laughs> and and we're, we're also really encouraging audience members to do that dash as well. Really? So we've got a little, um, a little deal on that if you go to both shows on the same night, then Boris and Sergei will give you a unique golden Boris and Sergei badge. That, um, awesome. There's like 75 in the world, so um, like, yeah, yeah. Slightly less yeah. to do. <laughs> <laughs> Boris and Sergey challenge. Yes. You can race them. Whoever gets there first, maybe you get something else as well. Oh yeah. Actually, well, we, we, we definitely think about certificates, and they'll, they'll yeah. help you be a little photo op afterwards. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. So how did you guys all come together and um, come up with the idea of the puppets, um, and how did you it all form? Who gave birth to the puppets? Um, we, we had a, um, a show to do and we had a 20 minute slot in Theatre Souk, uh, which was part of Theatre Delicatessen. It was in this amazing venue just off Oxford Street. So we had to create a 20 minute piece and um, it started just with the poker game, which we used at the end of all the Dream Adventure. Um, and then slowly but surely that sort of over time just developed and we, we added more stuff until we just sort of um, had a, an hour show with it. Um, and yeah, we, we all came together from different backgrounds really, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've all joined the project at different stages. Um, the company started almost three years ago now and that's when we all that. And then Sam joined us last summer and then Steve just joined us a month ago. So, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Nice. We've had lots of people sort of coming and the company's expanded. Um, and a lot of us actually, uh, I remember myself, I hadn't actually done puppetry before. I think there's a few people in the company who hadn't. And uh, Henry Maynard, who's the artistic director, was trained us up and had a like, puppetry school. And yeah, so that's been yeah, very, very cool. And most of our material comes from sort of improvisation and devising in those rehearsal and training periods. And that's how we came up with the characters of Boris and Sergei as well. And it just happened one day, someone put on an Eastern European accent and it was really and funny. Boom. And there was Boris, Star Wars. Yeah. Exactly. So, obviously, you're all incredibly tight knit and you'll have to really work together. Do rehearsals ever get a bit fraught? If you're on top of each other, or was it, was it all as peaceful as it looks? Like it's, it's, I mean, it's never peaceful in rehearsals, but I mean, I certainly is. They're the best rehearsals to be in. I really feel like it's just constant laughter just through all the improvisation with the puppets and we've sort of developed their characters so much where we can all just sort of pick them up and, and just sort of play, play yeah. really. But then also there's, you know, creating these really beautiful sort of technically um, challenging moments with, with the puppetry that we use. So it's a really lovely balance of, you know, from one minute we'll just be all rolling around on the floor laughing and then the other bit will just be complete silence and just really nice focus. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, oh, wow. God, where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think people love puppets, and in particular Boris and Sergei, so much? Because there, there are a lot of them around. People seem to really get on board with puppetry. First thing is the, the audience gets to use their imagination so much more, and it allows that kind of the, 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 the person is kind of uh, own creativity. You know, with Boris and Sergei, obviously, there's no faces on the puppets or anything. Mm. A lot of it is just uh, this ability for the audience to buy in to what you're producing, and there's the, po the possibilities of doing anything. Are there? You know, sort of. There's no gravity at times. There's no, you know, there are so many. There's so much more you can do with puppets. You can take things to a completely different realm in literally like an instant. And they can get away with anything. Yeah. 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 <laughs> much more than if it was us talking mm -hmm. to the audience. You know, they can swear and abuse them and pump them. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 we, we, have, do. we, we do. Yeah. I think the best compliment is when they say, oh, at the beginning, I, I didn't think I'd buy an it, they didn't have faces, I, I could see you guys, and, but then within a minute or two, I just saw the puppets. I think that's the best, oh, like, yeah. that, that makes it really good. Do you feel like you're an extension of the puppet rather than controlling it, basically? Yeah. <laughs> I think the puppets definitely think that as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Weird if they're lackeys, so we just yeah. follow them about. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you so much for talking to me. Um, tell us where we can catch both the shows. So you can catch Vaudeville and Adventure, which is the first one, at Underbelly, Bristow Square, Topside. And that's at 10pm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can catch the new one, if you're willing to do the dash, uh, 10 minutes later. Um, so, yeah, 10 minutes later, um, at Pleasant 2 Courtyard, and that's at 10 past 11. Thank you. Definitely go and see them. Thanks, guys.